Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hi, folks. I'm Bob Schrupp, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course, Bob. Today, we're going to show you how to use a TENS unit with knee pain. Basically, we're going to show you a correct pad placement because we have, Brad and I have used dozens of TENS units, and uh, many of them are excellent. Mm -hmm. uh, but we decided after doing that, we're going to have to kind of choose one brand. Right. So we decided on eye relief. If you don't have an eye relief TENS unit, we can't help you. We can't give you instructions on how to use your unit. You're, but the pad gonna, placement the is going to be the same. going to be the same, yeah. right. So if you want, if you if you got an eye relief uh, unit, we're gonna, we have videos on how to use the 1313, the 8080, and the 5050. Just go to Bob and Brad, our, our website, bobandbrad.com, go to programs, and then under programs, go to the tens. And, and so, those numbers were referring to different models right, that they right. sell. And, and then when you look for the title, it'll say 13, 13, 80, 80, 50, mm -hmm. 50. So, sure. all right, let's go ahead and get started, Brad. Let's talk about where to place the pads. There's really no specific right or wrong. It's going to be a little different per individual and the pain, uh, what the cause of the pain is, whether it's a knee replacement, a joint problem, you know, whatever it may be. Right. So it's really an experiment is what we're going to tell you. And that's why we're going to give you suggestions of where to place yeah. the pads. This is going to guide you and really shorten up your time right. needed to figure out where you want to have these properly placed. So, so you know, with most TENS unit, what you get is two channels and you get four pads. Right. So we're going to start off with just, if you wanted to use one channel and two pads. Yep. So our channel one is... Yellow, it's supposed to be. Oh, I've got that on the that, back. That's all right. Uh, we'll, we'll go with channel two. Mm -hmm. Channel two, we're going to just do channel two right yep. now. So we're talking about medial knee pain or pain on the inside of the knee. Mm -hmm. The first thing we would suggest is that you put a pad right on the knee pain. Yep. So if it hurts right there, I've got a red mark there. If you can see that, I'm going to put that pad there. I'm going to take the second pad from the channel, and we're going to see how it goes below it right right there and you look at how much of a gap he has there he has at least a width of a pad between the two yeah and i wouldn't go down here you don't want to have you know this for this is a this is typically where you go i mean you can vary a little bit and see how it goes but um the other thing is i've got some hair on my legs uh, once you figure out where the pads go and you like it you're going to want to shave your hair because it makes the pads last longer and it provides better conductivity for the electricity that's actually going through your skin. So there's a couple of reasons. You may even want to uh, do some soap and water before right. clean the yep. skin, get the oils off the skin. Now, a second choice would be to take the other pad and put it above the other pad, the, the medial pad right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now, uh, another choice, we'll just keep going because and these are all, again, available on the PDF that comes along with this program. Uh, it'll, it'll have pictures of all these. Yeah, you can print it off. You can put one uh, um, above the pain and one below the pain. Mm -hmm. So you can take that one off the media. Yeah. Oh, yeah, this is the fun field. part. Pulling so you can the hair. see the pain there. He's got one above and one below. Now, this is to be a little difficult is sometimes you can put side by side of the pain, but you're going to run into the kneecap, aren't you, Brad? Yeah, here and down here. Yeah. When you bend your knee, you, you can't have this in the crux of yeah. the knee because it'll so that, fold it and conduction's not good. Yeah, that's not going to work. We won't do that. All right, let's go to the lateral, Brad. Right. It's the same thing on the lateral. You're going to first try. Let's, let's say the pain is here. Yep. I'll, I'll put an X on it. You're going to put try one on the pain, one above, or one below. There you go. Or you can try one above. And one below. There we go. Yep. All right. How about in the back of the knee, Brad? Well, we're uh, a little more limited, aren't yeah. we? Yeah. And actually, here I did start. Can we change your channel two? Yep. We'll channel, go to channel one. I mean, now. Yeah. channel one. Yep. Yeah. So we got colors. That the, the number is not that important, but we know that the yellow goes with the yellow. Um, let me stand up. Normally, now the pads do not have colors on them. Yeah, we, your color, the, the pads are going to be black. Right. But we're doing this just to help you know when we're using channel one and channel two. 
So he's got one above and one below. That's probably the only choice you really have in the back, don't you, Brad? Yeah, because you can't. You don't want to put one on there. If, if we do that, and yeah, and then it, they start. To, it's just not going to work out at all. Right, and and you really don't want to go side to side. There's really not room. Right. So the the last thing you can do it with uh, if you just have two, you can also let's say the pain's coming from your back. Sure. You might want to go along the trail of the nerve. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I might as well just draw myself Boy, up. Here. Aren't you something, Brad? Yeah, so if you got do pain that. running down here, we'll put one there. Oh, we'll put one here now. I would never put it this far apart. I don't. I don't think. I mean, you could try it, but I have a feeling that might be too far apart. Sure. Um, yeah, I'd more keep than them likely. Close together, yep. right? And like you there. know, if the pain was on the front, you could do it on the front if it was referring down to the knee. Yeah, yeah. I don't have to draw on, on there, Brad. Well, Bob, I'll, uh, I will. I'll sacrifice it. I know you would, but you don't need to. All right, let's go to two channels now, Brad. Sure. Yep. So we have two channels now, and you're going to be able to tell the difference because the yellow ones are channel one and the green ones are channel two. Why don't you have a seat, Brad? Sure. So on, we're going to first do the X. So you're going to take oh. channel one. Mm -hmm. Well, you're taking channel two, Brad. Well, don't worry, Bob. <laughs> we'll get it squared away. Yeah, so Channel one, you're going to put one on the right lower. So where's the pain? Uh, let's say it's right on the kneecap. Yep. We're on the front yeah, of the knee kind of global there. Yep. This is where the pain it seems more spread out. Yeah. And you want to get uh, yep. it's a like, bigger area covered. Like the whole knee is hurting to some extent. Yep. I've done this with total knee replacements. Sure. Because uh, typically it's kind of the whole knee that does hurt. It's it's not real. So, so you see how it forms an X there. These two cross and these two cross and it forms an X. Right. So next we can do a cross. Right, Brad? So you can put. Oh, you want me to cross on there? No, 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 no. Oh, you can do an actual cross now. Or I mean, the actual uh, cross. <laughs> oh, like this. This is an X. <laughs> now we want a T. Yeah, I get what you're you got. Saying. What I'm saying. Yeah. All right. There's another possibility. Yeah, because you know, as far as the, the electricity goes from here to here, and it goes from there, so that's what's making that imaginary cross. Cross. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was thinking X and we're thinking cross. Right. So, and again, we got pictures of all these. And we promised one exercise too um, that you can actually do with these. Uh, one with exercise these, or two? Well, what are. Also. <laughs> also. <laughs> so, what you can do, especially if your knee is lacking full extension, a lot of times what we find is the more your knee gains back motion, the more the pain goes down. Mm -hmm. So what you can do is give yourself knee a little bit of stretch like this into extension, pressure on, pressure off, pressure on, pressure off. You can do that throughout the day. Now, some people actually be get better luck if they turn the leg out like this and yeah. push on and pressure off, pressure on. Now, hand placement is above the kneecap. You don't right. want to be pushing on the kneecap. That'll probably Sometimes cause above pain. Above and below even. Yep. Now, my wife had better luck when it was turned out like this. For the angle yeah. Out, yeah. Then you can also try to turn it in, pressure on, pressure off. It should feel better. It should not make the pain worse. It's something, again, you could do every hour, like a set of 10. And, again, the more you gain the motion back, a lot of times the more the pain goes down. Yep. All right. Check out, again, the program at bobandbrad.com. Very good. Thank you. Thanks. Good luck with the pads.